Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are looking at a new curly girl from Paula Young. Her name is Lexi and this is what she looks like. I have her in two colors, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're looking at a brand new curly girl from Paula Young. Her name is Lexi and this is what she is. She looks like a really nice, full, shoulder length, curly bob. And I have her in the colors silver or royal silver. It's silver with a dark root. And also in the color Milano Brown, which is eight slash 12 number four at B or something like number six. So it's got a brown root. So I've got a brunette and a silver. Isn't that exciting? This, this is her and I can't wait to get her on. So let's take a look. I think what we'll do is we'll try the Milano Brown on first. Here's all her numbers. So you can kind of see all that. Alrighty. And then here is the silver, royal silver color as well. So that you have all those numbers. So let's get her out of the box. Okay, so here she is on a mannequin. So you can see she has beautiful, very distinct curls all across the shoulder in the back. She does not have a lace front, but she's got that hairline that really disguises the cap very well. Looks like she's got a little bit of a shorter bang on the side and it tapers, the length tapers from the face, cheek area on down to the back. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cap construction. What we have is another open cap with horizontal wefts going across the front to the midline area. We have a nice wide velveteen band in front, as well as a weft stitched on the edge of the cap to really help disguise that cap. And that does a really good job. Then we have closed lace up at the crown so that we get some permatease for lift and, and uh, profile. We have closed lay or closed um, ear tabs with metal stays in them. We happen to have Velcro adjusters on both sides of a closed extended nape. And then of course, lots of stretchy wefts. So let's go ahead and try this young lady on. Before I do, I'm going to kind of lift the, the top crown area a little bit. I know she's already got some uh, part in there and I don't want to disturb too many of these curls down here, but we will end up having to disturb some of them um, around the face. And then we'll, we'll do what we can to get them back organized again. Alrighty? So what I have on today is Godiva Secret Freedom Lace Front in the color Frosted Taupe. Isn't she cutie pie? Lace fronts are brand new for Freedom at Godiva Secret Wigs. This is a great, great addition to their line. If you don't know anything about them, go look for them. Um, I will put the links and everything down below for them. Alrighty? So let's try on Lexi. Okay, here is Lexi in the color Milano Brown. Oh, look at that. That beautiful fullness. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so we've got, she wants to, she is originally put, being parted on my left, and I suppose we could go ahead and lift her out. But, oh, look at these curls. And they pull away from the face. So how fun is that? I don't know about you, but I've been enamored with all these curly girls for a while this summer. It's been a lot of fun. And of course, I like the way that the curls start right at the eye area, but you have this little gentle, gentle, smooth wave coming down from the very top of the, of the wig. So, and also because it does, it is cut back your earrings will show as well. So that's always fun, isn't it? Can you tell um, that it has a darker root on the Milano Brown? The Milano Brown is very, very close to Pecan Delight. It's the eight slash 12 
color that makes this so pretty. And it's a beautiful brunette. Um, not excessive, it's not real dark, but you can see there's a lot of warmth in here. And whether or not you choose to comb or brush these curls out, that will make a difference in whether or not your wig looks very, very big and frizzy almost versus maybe um, a little more full. Now, see, I'm just taking and pinching some of the hair around here and it's giving me more volume right here and filling that out a little bit more or you can pat it down. But what fun, oh my gosh. And of course, oh, can you see her with some of my headbands, my boho and my um, cloth? Oh, she's made for this, isn't she? Now with this, I would probably have to touch up my sideburn area here with a dark brown or a brown uh, root cover up so that it you wouldn't see all this gray right here if the wind should blow. But what fun. Oh, have you ever wanted to have curly hair? Oh my gosh. Now, I will tell you that I ordered this in August of 2023 and the color I wanted was the um, buttered toast, but that's back ordered till next year. Next year, January. So, unless something else changes and I don't know about it, they uh They've got a lot of people wanting that color. That's the color that's in the book. So when you look at when you look at this, that's the color. Tuscany toast, I think, not butter toast, Tuscany toast. So that would be really pretty, wouldn't it? Yeah, all those little gold highlights. What fun. Okay, so let me try one headband with her, okay? Well, this looks like she was made for that, doesn't she? Oh my goodness, what a cute, cute wig she is. Lots of fullness, lots of fun, you know? Oh my gosh, what what a fun wig that would be. I mean, she's not costumey at all. The wig cap fits very, very nicely. The fibers feel really good. If you weren't going to brush them, then you wouldn't have to worry about it getting too um, natted. Underneath here, you definitely will have to treat this and comb that out and spray a lusterizer or a silicone coating on there to keep that from getting too uh, friction frizzy. Okay, so let's try on the silver one, okay? Alrighty. Okay, so this is the silver one and I always wanted to have a curly wig that was, oh, I think the other colors are gonna be better. This almost looks uh, too artificial to me in, um, but look at how, how much she is uh, padded down. She feels like the density has changed, that there's not enough density in this young lady. So she's parted on my left and um, we might want to take, now here's an instance where I could go ahead and leave my own bio hair um, showing, or at least it wouldn't, be a big deal if I if I showed it. But then we also have the option of combing her out from underneath. And that will, let's see what happens if I just do a little bit of this, like I did with the, the brunette. So, not the look I was hoping for, but you know what? On the right person, I could see this really working well. Um, there's my hairline, my widow's peak. And of course, again, there, the layer of the front corners is definitely over there. So we could take all kinds of little clips and do something with these curls and, and spread those curls out a little bit, couldn't we? So I could easily just put something up there to pull up and have a little bit of extra layering, we could do that. Can you see the hair clip in there? Does that make any difference? So we've got, now this, yeah, definitely this wig feels less dense than the other wig. And, um, but I think she's a, a nice wig for being this curly. 
So you'd have to be willing to work with her and take, take some of these pieces up and back. Do you remember Bernadette Peters? Oh my gosh, her hair was so beautiful and red and curly like this, and she would do all kinds of fun things. So you could do that. But I'm thinking that this silver, um, royal silver, might not be the best color for this style because it can make it look a little bit more artificial. The cap fits tighter on this one and I'm having it, it's feeling like it's cinching up. So I am going to put this one back in the box and send it back, but it's okay. Anyway, Thank you for joining me today. I hope this was fun. It's interesting, isn't it? But I was really anxious to try Lexing. So you guys have a great week and we will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.